right so there are other backups we don't use at all mostly these backups will use one more important backup that a tail log backup guys tail log backup okay this is also an important backup so we can take tail log backup during the it's not a regular backup okay tail log backup during the corruption okay situations only we can take the tail log backup okay not a regular backup see your full differential and log backups will be a regular backups in the organization full differential log backups will be a regular backups in the organization we'll schedule and we'll take the backups copy only full backup is an ad hoc backup on demand backup we don't generally take it on a regular basis it's an on demand backup and never anyone is asking i told you right two scenarios so one is if you are doing any maintenance related stuff and all or the publication team is any maintenance related stuff in that scenario for safer side will take copy only full backup second scenario if you are doing a database refresh activity like from production to non fraud you are restoring a database a fresh backup they need uh, application team they need a fresh backup to test their logic and all okay so fresh backup means how will get a fresh backup on the non fraud servers for fraud servers will get the data through the applications your fraud server will be always connected to the application so if anyone is accessing the application you are accessing amazon now now there is an independence freedom day sales in the amazon flipkart azure okay so you are going to that site you are giving your details and you are buying something that will create a real data in the back end and it will go to the database production database back end in the back end database if you are ordering a mobile phone it will generate a record that record will be stored in the back end database so that's how we'll get the data in the production servers if users are connecting and they are accessing their application then the real time data will be generated but for testing purpose i cannot use production servers right for testing purpose i have to use non production only but on non production servers how will get the data do you know what is the non production server of amazon we don't know what is the non production server of flipkart we don't know so but the amazon people the flipkart people they want to test their logic in the non fraud servers so when they can test their logic if they have real data okay so how you will get the real data in the non fraud servers you have to take a backup of production and you have to restore it into the non fraud server that is called a database refresh activity so this will be do we'll do the database refresh on a regular basis sometimes weekly weekly we'll do sometimes ad hoc basis we'll do in that scenario we'll take a backup of a fresh database okay so we are taking again manual we are taking right so we'll take a copy only full backup on the production and we'll restore it into the non production server in these two scenarios generally we'll take a copy only full backup so copy only full backup is also not a regular backup the regular backups will be full differential and log backups remaining all other backups are ad hoc backups or on demand backups so as you know that copy only is also an ad hoc backup tail log backup generally we will take only during the crash situations it's not a regular backup i told you right in the last scenario i want to recover the data till 1028 if you want to recover the data till 1028 how we can recover why because using the existing backups i am able to recover the data till 1015 i am losing the 13 minutes data right so how we can recover the data my database is corrupted at 1028 once it's corrupted the first thing that you have to do is you have to take a tail log backup for shanmukh how how do i know the database is corrupted or not so the database will go to restoring state if you see here in the back in the in the left side if you see if you are trying to expand the database it will not expand it will throw the errors database is inaccessible or it will show you restoring state or in recovery pending state or suspended state in the brackets in the brackets of the database name beside the database name you can see the, like how it is showing offline in the brackets it will show you restoring in recovery suspended like that it will show you so in such scenario if you go and check the sql server error logs you will get some information so in this way you can able to identify whether the database is corrupted or not so if the database is corrupted 
the first thing that you have to do is you have to take a tail log backup. So now my database is corrupted to 1028. If I took a tail log backup immediately, so it will take the backup since last log backup. So when the last log backup happened, guys, 1015, right? So 1015 to 1028, whatever data is there that will be stored in the tail log backup. Is it clear, guys? Tail log backup. During the corruption situations, we have to take tail log backup. So tail log backup will take the backup since last log backup. That is also kind of log backup only. Okay, it will take the backup of tail of the log, including completed and uncompleted transactions. So since last will be sorry, since last log backup to the point the database is corrupted, till that time it will take the backup. So the 13 minutes data also you are able to recover. So now after all the backups you restore, the finally you have to restore a tail log backup so that the 30 minutes data also we can recover using the tail log backup. If my log file is corrupted, can I take the tail log backup or log backup, guys? If my log file itself is corrupted, if the database is corrupted, guys, corruption, there are multiple types of corruption, partial corruption, full corruption. If database is corrupted or data files corrupted, yes, that is a partial corruption. If log file itself is corrupted, we cannot take the tail log backup. Why? Because tail log backup, if you want to take the log file, should be accessible. If the data file is corrupted, if the log file is active and good, it is in good state, then you can take tail log backup. If the log file itself is corrupted, you cannot take the tail log backup. In that scenario, we cannot restore the database till point in time recovery. We can restore to a best possible time. If we can't tail log backup, till 10.15, I have good backups, right? So I can restore the database till 10.15. So even though the database is corrupted to 10.28, but I can still recover the database till 10.15 only. Okay, so why? Because because of the existing backups, I can maximum recover that much only. So remaining data, you should accept the data loss. Clear guys, tail log backup. Is it clear everyone? Guys, is my audio clear? Uh, yes. In organization, it will take automatically. Uh, no, uh, that's what that's what I said. That's what I said in the beginning itself. I said it's not a regular backup to take it automatically. In the organization, if the database is corrupted, the first thing that you have to do is you have to manually go to the server and you have to fire that tail log backup query. Possible okay. reasons that database corruption, Priya, it can be if anyone is trying to like delete the files, any files are deleted in the back end, okay, or or anyone is trying to open the files and they are doing something in the files, or maybe uh, not uh, not on a regular basis, very rarely these kind of situations. Okay, these scenarios generally, if you are trying to access the data files or log files, we have physical files, right? If you are trying to access or if someone deleted a file, unknowingly if someone deleted the files or due to some maintenance activity, sometimes files will be unknowingly, the files will be corrupted. Okay, maybe some data, the, the, the some of the pages has been deleted kind of thing. So in these scenarios, database will be corrupted. Okay, yeah. So, yes, yes, please. You know. uh, the, actually, uh, suppose if the database is corrupted, mm. immediately we have to take uh, tail log backup or uh, we follow the process? Immediately, immediately you have to take tail log backup for safer side. Then you can start following the process. Okay. Okay. So, immediately we don't run DBC's check DB. The first thing that you have to do is you have to first take the tail log backup. Why? Because until your log file is good, you can still recover the data using tail log backup till the point in time. Point in time that is called point in time recovery. Okay, so immediately you have to first take tail log backup, then you can start follow the process like running DBCC, check DB, remaining other things, how to corrupt, how to fix the issue, and all. You can just check what can be the, what can be the error, what can be the issue by checking in the error logs and all. So the examination will be later. First, you have to take the tail log backup, then you can start examining why what happened, how to recover the database. Okay, you can just follow the process. And if we lost LCM, we can't back up the database. LCM. What is LCM? Sorry, not LCM. 
log file sir log file share yeah. log file if the log file is deleted or log file is corrupted we cannot take the tail log backup we lost the data yes we are going to lose the data log means like that the point the till last log backup you can recover we are going to lose just from last log backup to till the point of corruption that's why we'll run every 15 minutes log backup so we can minimize the data loss if you are running every one hour log backup if my database is corrupted at 958 you are going to lose one hour data if you minimize that schedule like if you are taking log backups for every 15 minutes max 15 minutes data you are going to lose max why because till last log backup i can restore right only thing is if my database is corrupted at 1029 up to 1015 i can recover i am going to lose 1015 to 1029 that data i am going to lose not the whole data only that 14 minutes or 15 minutes data i am going to lose okay yeah so there is no gui process for tail log backup guys only we have to use command so that is also same like log backup query so backup log database name to disk is equal to okay flipkart underscore tail log backup underscore 08 Zero nine twenty twenty four underscore time also I'm adding zero uh, eight server time I'm adding zero eight fifteen something like zero zero dot tiran this is a log backup query as you know that you have to simply add with no underscore truncate okay so you have to add this parameter with no truncate to the log backup query so that it will take the tail log backup place okay sometimes they will ask you the tail log backup query also okay so these four queries are very important guys they might ask you okay so the queries also very simple backup database database name to disk is equal to file path and don't directly tell file name dot dak then where is the path they will ask backup database database name to disk is equal to path and file name dot dak that is full backup query backup database database name to disk is equal to path and file name dot dak For a differential, you have to add one parameter called with a differential. For log file, log backup, backup log database name to disk is equal to path and file name dot trn. This is the log backup query. For copy only full backup, backup database database name to disk is equal to path file name dot dak with a copy underscore only. Ah, sir, no extension. Extension for what? Ah, uh, for tail log. Same tier and only, right? Same okay. tier and only. For tail log backup, the query will be backup log database name to disk is equal to path and file name dot trn with no underscore truncate. Okay, that's it, guys. Very simple queries. Sometimes they might ask you. Just remember that four five lines. That's it. Right. Now the other backups will be like remaining other backups will never use like file and file group backups. If you want to take file and file group backups, let me check how many files are there in this database. How many file groups? Any file groups are there? Let's see first. If not, I'll add one two file groups. Only one file group is there for Amazon. Let me check with the Flipkart uh, properties file groups. Okay, only one is there. Okay, let me add one more file group, guys. Don't add any file groups just to take the file and file group backup. Just to show you the demo I'm adding. Okay, FG two. Okay, and files I'm adding. Uh, I'm going to add one more extra file in there. Stick to file group. Uh, Flipkart underscore F three file three. Okay, this has to be stored in the. Uh, this is the data file only. And this has to be stored in the FG two file group. Okay, that's it. I'm just adding one file group and one extra file, guys. I'm not doing anything. So now the demo will be like how to take file and file group backup, guys. Right click, same tasks, backup, and here you can choose an option called file and file group. Select this. Then it will ask which file group you want me to take a backup. You want me to take a backup of primary file group. Then it will take the backup of only primary file group. 
or you want me to take a backup of file group 2 so whatever the files are there in that file group it will take or a specific file backup you want to take just take a file that particular file we can take a backup of specific file also you see here we have two files two data files okay so you can simply take that particular file backup or the whole file group backup okay so in this way you can take the file and file group backups and path and all you can same remaining everything is only selection wise you will select the specific file or file group okay and uh, remaining path file name everything is same so i'm not doing anything here i'm just clicking okay so in this way you can take file and file group backup guys okay we'll never use it first of all we'll never use it just for knowledge <clears throat> next uh, split backups or striped backups one more important backup we don't use it in the organizations on a regular basis but some organizations they might follow this also okay striped backup or split backups so in what scenario we'll use this striped backups or split backups split the name itself is saying split it is going to split the backups so in what scenario so this is the scenario my database size is 10 tb guys so what is the backup size? What will be the backup size? Uh, 3 TB, 2 to 3 Roughly TB. 2 to 3 TB. Okay, very good. Roughly 2 to 3 TB. 2 to 3 TB. Imagine the file backup size will be 2 to 3 TB. But in the organization generally, I'll have a drives up to 2 TB drives, guys. Two to, maximum drive capacity will be 2 TB. Drives means the hard disk you can see. You can see the hard disk now. You can see right in the C drive. If you go to the server, uh, you can see here. I'm using around okay, 50, 25 GB, something like that. So if I expand this drive up to 2 TB, I can expand. After 2 TB, I cannot expand. I have to create one more drive. Okay. How can I accommodate a 3 TB backup file in, in this 2 TB drive, guys? If I can still accommodate, how many days old backup I can keep it in the drive? Hardly I can keep only one backup, right? If that one backup is corrupted, are you getting the point, guys? This is the challenge we have. So one challenge is maximum drive size will be 2 TB. But what if my backup size is more than 2 TB? Where I can store? Any drive, the maximum size is 2 TB only. I cannot, again, cut the existing backup. That is not the correct way. If, but my backup size is 3 TB. How can I accommodate? At least 2 to 3 weeks backups, I have to keep it for safer side. If I don't keep last 2 to 3 weeks, if something happened to my last full backup, there is no data safety to my database. If server is corrupted, if my last backup is also corrupted, how can I recover the data? Are you getting the point, guys? Is it clear? So that's why we have a concept called split backups. It means you can split the backups. Split means not directly cutting. You can take the backups in multiple parts. You can keep it in different different drives. For example, I have drive 1, drive 2, drive 3, drive 4. Four drives are there. 500 GB part 1, I will take it to drive 1. Part 2, 500 GB, take it to drive 2. Part 3, 500 GB, I will take it to drive 3. Part 4, drive 4. Part 5, drive 5. Like that, I will take multiple parts to multiple drives. While restoring, I have to use all these five parts to restore the database. If any of the part is missing, that's it. You cannot recover the database. So using split backups or striped backups, I can take backups in multiple parts to multiple locations. Are you getting the point, guys? Is it clear? Let me show you the demo. So I am going to create Control Shift N uh, backups one. Control Shift N, backups to Control Shift N, backups three. So now I want to take backup one backup. I want to take backup to all these three locations. Imagine my database is big, so I cannot accommodate. Of course, this is not a correct exact demo. Backup one I have to create in one drive. Another folder I have to create in another drive. But we don't have multiple drives, right? That's why I'm just showing in the same drive. But this is what generally we'll do in the organization. In one drive, 
will will take back up to one folder and another drive another folder like that will take backups in bits and pieces to multiple drives okay so there is no gui for that striped backups you have to use query only so what is the query backup database database name to disk is equal to okay to disk is equal to um, i am going to copy this path control shift control c sorry control v backslash uh, flip cart backup part 1 okay close the single quotes comma to disk is equal to like that how many times how many splits you want to give okay that many splits you have to mention guys control c control v this is part 2 and what is your folder backups folder 2 comma to disk is equal to to not record hmm. disk is equal to again i am taking this to third folder okay Backup database database name to disk is equal to dot b a k part one dot b a k part two dot b a k part three dot b a k b a k here you just remove last line right remove the comma just parse it whether this is correct or not command completed successfully means the command is correct and execute it now see here go to each folder. you can see part 1 backup and second folder part 2 backup and third folder part 3 backup now if i want to restore the size if you see 260 kb 281 kb and 270 kb so you can see three different sizes i mean to say the same backup if i took to a single location that will be a single file but i am just making as a three parts so in case of space constraints this is a small database you don't know the big difference in case of space constraints i can see there is an advantage also hi daddy good morning good morning what are you doing oh thank you pen and nidra सेम ड्राइव the same read and write operations are taking place on the same drive will take lot of time here you are parallelly distributing the traffic to multiple drives so your backups will be speed up first advantage second advantage is in case of space constraints okay so we can make use of this split backups while restoring i have to again restore all these three pieces part 1 part 2 part 3 are you getting the point guys same backup file i am making three pieces or four pieces how many pieces i can make not parallel backup this is not parallel backup okay parallel backup for pandu that is different parallel back means if full is running again can i initiate one more differential backup at the same time 2 o'clock to uh, at 2 o'clock full backup started again at the same time can i take differential backup at 2 o'clock can i trigger the differential backup so that is called parallel backup or what is the name concurrent backups fine guys is it clear split backups everyone yes sir okay so to speed up the backup sometimes in the organization they will ask you how to speed up the backups tell them we using split backups i can speed up the backups no 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 vinod 
your data it won't last not even a single see if there is a loss in the data why microsoft will suggest okay so it will not suggest these kind of things if there is a loss why because one record is record only imagine you are sending today you are sending 1 lakh rupees to your friend that is also a record if you are going to lose the data so data lose means it's a it's a i mean to say uh, no one will accept that kind of applications next time are you going to use the same phone pay application you are going to lose i mean today you already lost 1 lakh rupees because of all these things next time no right so there is there will be no data loss at all if there is a such kind of things there might be other mechanism to stop that to block the data loss but split backups only to speed up the backups instead of writing 2tb file on the same drive it is parallel it is writing the data on the different drives so in that way you can speed up the backups first thing second thing is space constraints i told you i gave you a scenario if my backup size is 3tb max disk size can be 2tb how can i accommodate 3tb backup file in which drive i can accommodate i cannot keep one 2tb file here and 1tb in another drive so if i take a split backups i can use three drives or two drives so half of it will take out of 3tb 1.5 in one one drive another 1.5tb of data in another drive it will take the backup so in this way i can speed up the backup so this is called split backups guys in these three parts now i took three parts right like this how many parts i can take the backup guys how many pieces i can take the backup any idea maximum how many parts i can take max guess guess it guess the number now this is one backup i just split it into three parts guys like that maximum how many parts i can take eight eight okay next Guess it. Just guess the number, guys. What is there in that? Twenty. Twenty. Next. One minute. Huh? Just one minute. Hello. Yeah, okay. guys. Okay, maximum sixty-four parts I can take like this. Okay, maximum sixty-four parts I can take, guys. Okay, so that is all about your split backups. Right. Okay, the final backup remaining other backups partial, differential, partial, 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 differential. We don't use at all, and the organization also we don't get that kind of scenarios at all. Only one backup that we have to cover is cold backups. These are all hot backups. Hot backups means the backups that you can take when the database is in online. Okay, cold backups. Cold backups means, okay, the backups that you can take when the database is offline. The backups that you can take when the database is offline that is called cold backups, guys. Okay, so for example, if you want to take cold backups, generally the database should be in which state, guys? Which state? Offline. offline state. See, for example, here you can see Mintra database. Mintra is offline. Let me go to this backup and MS SQL data. All the data files and log files will be stored in this location. For example, if I want to take a Amazon database cold backup, copying the physical files to another location is called cold backup. What is cold backup, guys? In the cold backup, what we will do? We'll copy the physical files to another location. So can I copy this Amazon files to another location? Something like this. Can I copy? Is it going to allow me? For example, if your Notepad is open or your Word document is open, can you rename that Word document or can you copy that Word document to another location? What it will throw the uh, what error it will throw, guys? If you are trying. It's to... in running position. 
फाइल इज इन यूज ओके फाइल इज इन यूज हिर आल्सो सी अमेजॉन आई एम ट्राइंग टू कॉपी द फिजिकल फाइल्स व्हाट इट इज सेइंग द एक्शन कैन बी कंप्लीटेड बिकॉज़ द फाइल्स इज ओपन इन सीक्वल सर्वर सो व्हेन द डेटाबेस इज ऑनलाइन द फाइल्स विल ओपन व्हाई बिकॉज़ इट हैज टू एक्सेप्ट द डेटा नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग दिस टू अमेजॉन डेटाबेस ओके लेट मी कैंसिल लेट मी ट्राई विद द मिंत्रा डेटाबेस मिंत्रा इज ऑफलाइन राइट गो टू लोकेशन and where are mintra database data file and this is your data file and this is your log file right click copy and i am trying to paste it in another location in this scenario will it accept guys will it accept to paste in another location yes 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 it should, yes. It should. why because mintra is offline mintra is offline means it is not in open state if it is not in open state means you can copy to another location so that's why Cold, this is called cold backups. Copying the physical files to another location is called cold backups, guys. Copying the physical files to another location is called cold backups. Cold backups you can take only when the database is offline. But for taking cold backups, is it a good practice to keep the database offline? No, right? No, the database should be always online. If it is offline, then again the application will be down. the business will be down so that's why cold backups will generally we don't take cold backups there are some scenarios like maybe we'll try to copy the files physically if you want to copy the master database data files physically if you want to take a cold backups on the system database how we can take guys user database you can keep it offline and you can try but can i keep the system databases offline guys Can I keep system databases offline? No. Is it going no. To no. No. Then the your assignment will be how to take cold backups on the system databases. Okay. The second assignment. How to take cold backups on the system databases. First assignment is how many data, how many backups, what and all backups I can take on system databases. Second assignment will be how to take cold backups on the system databases. These are the two assignments. hardly don't take 5 to 10 minutes also believe me for beginner also it don't take more than 15 minutes i gave you the queries also you have to simply replace the names for the first assignment and you have to fill the table yes or no second assignment just google it check how to take cold backups on the system databases these two are the assignments that you have to complete guys questions doubts any questions doubts is it clear cold backups is it clear guys yeah this copying is itself called as cold backup yeah right? yeah copying the physical files to another location is called cold backups okay yeah any other questions doubts you can ask me if you have any questions no issue should do in split backup uh, you, in split backup you told it's a 64 parts na huh? Uh, how would, how would, uh, I mean how system will take that? How this mommy uh, take means same. How we took three parts? Yeah, so I mean parts. suppose it is in one TB. Ah, uh, uh, it will divided by one TB divided by three parts. Correct, no? correct. Yes, sixty four okay. parts means one TB divided by sixty four parts. Sixty four. That's okay. it. Yeah. Suppose uh, actually you can see the uh, only few uh, I mean limited uh, spaces there. Okay. So we can manage. Uh, uh, I mean, we can control the space and C space, C drive, and remaining uh, D and E. We can increase it. Is given option. We can increase it. See how much till how much you can increase it till two TB. You can increase it. Hmm. Okay. The maximum disk capacity is two TB. Microsoft whatever disk is giving, it is giving. There are two types of disk: MBR partition, GPT partition, like that. So in the MBR, the maximum you can grow up to two TB. Now I am having. 25 GB, right? Now, if I want to expand this drive, okay? Now I can add 100 GB. It will become 125, 130. Now it is 30 GB. Now when I add 1 TB, it will become 1.1 TB. Or up to what level I can add? Up to this drive reaches 2 okay. TB. Windows team can add. Our storage team can add. Once it reaches 2 TB, as per the disk nature, it cannot grow more than 2 TB. So Windows team will create another drive. Hmm. Okay. 
So now if my backup size is 3 TB, how to take the backup? We create another drive. Yes, we create another drive. So I cannot split it. I cannot split it directly, right? So using a split backup query only, I can split it into multiple equal parts. Oh. Okay, guys. Any questions, doubts? Okay, sometimes they will ask you how to take backups to shared path. Okay, sometimes we have to take backups to shared path also. So how to take backups to shared path? The process is same as it is. So you have to give shared path location here. That's it. Shared path means you will have a path. Okay, uh, they will give you a path. So using that path, you can have to, here I'm giving a local path, right? So you have to give shared path. Let me create one shared path here. Okay, so I'm just creating a shared path. Control shift N shared backups so if you create shared backups it won't be shared guys you have to make this as a shared go to properties and sharing and click on share and here you can just administrator is there right you can just keep it as it is or you can add everyone you have to add the permissions okay everyone can read and write from this folder okay share so now the folder is shared. So if you want to take backup to this folder, done. So go to the path. This is the path. Control C, copy paste that path. And here go to this location. Uh, up to here. I mean everything is same. Okay. Your server name. This is your server name, guys. First part will be your server name. First part is your server name and the second part is your folder name. Okay. So you have to simply give the shared path name and you can just simply execute this query. That's it. Remaining everything is same. Just path will be changed. That's it. Nothing will be changed. Just only path. So double backslash if you see means in front of any path. If you see double backslash means that is the shared path. Okay. Now just select the query and the alt text. That's it. And if you go and check in that folder, you can see the backup. Shared backups, right? Open this. You can see the backup. In this way, you can take. Sometimes they might ask you how to take backups to a shared location and all. So using this method, using the path only, the difference is like the path. The path you have to give, shared path you have to give. So once you give the path, automatically the backups will be triggered to that particular location. Okay. Right. Questions, doubts? Shanmuk, I have a doubt. Like for security folder, can we take the backups? Security folder. Yes. See, folders wise, we cannot take the backup. Good question. Okay. We cannot take backups for security. Like whenever there is an issue with the logins, I can directly go and restore the security folder. No. That mm -hmm. is not possible. Backups means only for the databases. Okay. Only for the databases, I can take the backup. A couple logins and other folders, I cannot take the backups. Yeah. Okay, fine. Right. So that's it, guys. That's it for now. In the evening, we'll connect and we'll start. Uh, we'll start the restore. Okay, database restore recovery. Uh, okay, so that will take one one class completely. Okay, so we'll we'll continue the session in the evening, guys. Thank you. Use the same link to join. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Thanks.